Drum Alert Nation. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Phase Rug. I love Rug Rat. Such a good kid. I love his family. But his brother, I've never liked. And we're talking about Brandon here. His brother is also a YouTuber with millions of subscribers. And, well, I don't like his brother at all because his brother a couple years ago was bullying Rug and threatening to ruin Rug's career, which is just so wrong and so messed up because Rug is such a nice guy. He's the one that gave his brother, Brandon, a career in the first place. So what is this video about? Well, let me explain, okay? Two girls reached out to me that know Brandon and know Brandon's cousin, Anthony, and they had horrible experiences with them. Uh, one of them was being verbally abused by uh, Anthony, the cousin, and the other one claims that Anthony and Brandon locked her in a room and tried to do some no-no stuff to her, all right, when she was completely intoxicated. So I brought both these girls on an interview and filmed the interview, but after the interview was done, I reached out to Brandon and Anthony for a statement. Here is Brandon and Anthony's statement on this situation that you're about to hear. Roll it. Okay, so I'm here, we were at the mall, and I just got off the phone with Keem, who told me what this girl is accusing me of doing. I'm in absolute shock. I'm, I'm literally speechless. Like I'm trying to send this video out so I could share my side of the story. But to be honest, there, there's no side of the story. This girl was Anthony's pretty much girlfriend. They were talking for almost half a year, like four or five months. And they were serious talking. It wasn't just playing around. They were about to be boyfriend and girlfriend. So why would I, me, Anthony's best friend and first cousin, try, dude, dude. That, that's beyond the fact that if she is accusing us of rape or sexual harassment, proof that this girl is a clout chaser, why would she go to Keem? Why would she go to a YouTube news channel instead of going to the cops? Emily, if you were raped or, or sexually harassed, wouldn't you go to the cops? You lot, Dude, this girl from the start, we knew it, it doesn't take you more than one minute to go through her Instagram to know that she's a clout chaser. That's the only reason my name was brought in on this. I'm Anthony's best friend. I'm his right hand man. I would never do anything like that to Anthony, let alone she said we were in the room together. Why would Anthony let that happen with the girl he's about to date? He was, dude, Anthony's birthday. All of my friends were downstairs. I was downstairs with them. Anthony and Emily went in the room upstairs. I was not in the room. Everybody who knows me knows I would never do anything like that. I was downstairs with my friends. I don't know this girl like that. All I know, she was one of Anthony's girls. That's all I know. If she was being serious about this, we would be hearing from the cops, not from a YouTube news channel. She is chasing clout and I'm literally speechless that she would ever do anything like this. Emily, if you're watching this, I, I really don't know what to say. And obviously, I was waiting for Akeem to show me proof. I was like, wait, does she have proof of this? Because if she does, I would be, I would literally faint from shock because there is no proof. So lo and behold, to nobody's surprise, I asked Keem, hey Keem, what proof does she have? And he said, oh, well, she doesn't have any proof. And I, right then and there, I was like, so she has absolutely no proof, which is something I already knew because that night never happened. Not with me, not with me. And, um, I mean, obviously you guys will pick and choose which sides to believe, but I just hope nobody picks and chooses a side that has absolutely no proof. I, I can't convince you guys to be on my side, but just know that I would never ever do anything like that. And if anything, I, I would have to call the cops on her for making these false accusations. I'm gonna be the one to call the cops on her. How about that, Emily? Instead of you calling the cops on me, how about I call the cops on you for your false accusation? How about that? Then that'll be another video. Yo guys, I don't know anything about these false accusations, but me and Emily were in a room on my birthday. We were both super drunk. We had never hooked up before this moment. It, we were talking for like four months um, and she wanted to have sex with me and I told her no because it was weird and I didn't want that to be the first time we had sex was when she was super shit faced and I was putting her clothes back on as she was trying to take her clothes off and I was putting it back on and Brandon was never in that room and this whole Diva situation, they both just want clout. Like Brandon said, if they 
really did get raped, they would have went to the cops. Why would they go to Keemstar? They would, they would go to the cops. It's an obvious thing to do. Me and Brandon were never involved in a rape. Okay, so that's a statement from Brandon and Anthony. Brandon says he wasn't even in the room when this alleged sexual assault took place. But the girl that was in the room, Emily, her friend came out with a statement also saying that she knows 100% that Brandon was in that room. Roll it. So the night of Anthony's party, I was there. I was downstairs waiting for Emily while she was upstairs with Brandon and Anthony in the room. And I was just downstairs waiting for her. But she was in there with Brandon and Anthony. Okay, now that everyone's got their statements in there and I'm being fair so everybody has a say, let's get into the actual claims and the interview with these two girls that claim that Brandon and Anthony did horrible things to them. Roll it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have Emily and Diva on the line. These are the girls that reached out to me and was like, dude, there's really bad stuff that happened between them, uh, Brandon, and Anthony. Emily, I want to start with you because uh, you basically said that Brandon and Anthony locked you in a room and like tried to uh, force some sexual acts or whatever on you. Let's jump right into that. What happened? Like, What was the scenario? How did you end up in this in this situation and what exactly happened? So I think it was Anthony's birthday we were all at and I was upstairs with a few of my friends and Brandon and Anthony and they led me into this room and they locked me in there and I was extremely drunk at the time. Like I was falling over, could barely talk, like just not in the right state of mind. And then that is where Anthony and Brandon tried to have a threesome with me. Wait, aren't they cousins? Yeah, so it was super weird. I was super uncomfortable. Um, okay, when you but, say they tried to have a threesome with you, um, did you, did you, I mean, obviously you're super drunk. Were you telling them like, no, like I'm not interested? Was that clear? Yeah, they knew I was not interested in having a threesome with them because they're cousins. Which, and, and so how far did this this go? Like, what were they doing, if you don't mind me asking? So they took off my shirt, and they sat me on the bed. They also took off my pants as well. And Brandon whips out his dick, and so does Anthony. And Anthony wanted to watch me suck his cousin's dick and while he would, like, jack off next to it. And then... Brandon kind of like forced my head onto it and then they were both laying down in the bed and they wanted me to so, like go back and forth like sucking their dicks but I like refused to do that and then Anthony got mad and just like stormed out of the room but then Brandon stayed and continued to try to like do stuff with me and, you and then eventually kept, and you just kept telling him like no and pushing him away and they eventually got fed up and left uh, Anthony did, yeah. And then I like, just, I was just really weirded out, yeah. Okay, well, thank God you weren't, like, raped, but you're definitely, like, sexually assaulted. Like, they, 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 like, they just took off your clothes. You're sitting there drunk, you're laying on the bed, and they're just taking off your clothes. Like, that alone is so fucked. Yeah, it was a really bad situation. But, Diva, you said um, that you were in... Uh, you were in a video where you were pretending to be uh, the cousin Anthony's girlfriend, right? And so yeah. you reached out to me and you said uh, that the Anthony, the cousin, right, he was convinced that this was all real, but it was clearly just for the video. Like, explain what happened. So basically, I came from Toronto and we were hanging out at the mall for the whole day that day we filmed the video. And after we left, they texted me, oh, come back to the house. I want to film a video. And like, you're going to have to act to be my girlfriend or Anthony's girlfriend for the video. And I went and like, they're just telling me like, oh, flirt with Anthony, do all this. Like, just act like you're his girlfriend doing all the stuff for the video. And then afterwards, when I went back to Toronto, continuously, he would DM me replying to all my stories, like of my guy friends and saying that they're all, I'm flirting with them and I'm randomly fucking random people. And he was acting like we were actually dating. But whenever I brought it up, he was saying like, oh, I have no feelings for you. This is fake. This is that. <laughs> and he would threaten me. Literally, every time.